Do you have something that gets you absolutely freaking pumped every time you see it? Something that just makes you go, woo! For me, that's videos of cats being badasses. There's just something so cool about seeing this tiny little creature being fearless, fighting off predators that could kill them, putting bullies in their place, protecting their territory, protecting others, standing up to animals that are way bigger and more dangerous than them, suplexing a fool just because they can. Grab the girl here. Oh, Lord, you are out! I'm not kidding, dude. This stuff is like a shot of espresso straight into my nervous system. It makes the dopamine in my brain gush out like a geyser. Every time I see one of these videos, it's like... And the reflexes, dude? Are you kidding me? If you think you're gonna get a cat or get away from a cat, you are sorely mistaken. And the agility. Cats will do things I didn't even know were physically possible. And the speed. They'll slap you 20 times before you even know what's happening. Sometimes they'll just do something cool for no good reason at all. Look at this cat doing a flip. No one's even watching. I guess maybe the car in the background made a noise and the cat was like, gotta flip! People always ask, why are cats so weird? Why do they do all those weird things? Why do they slap you for no reason? Why do they bite you randomly? Why do they attack you unprovoked? Why do they get scared so easily? Why do they get the zoomies and run around? I'll tell you why. It's because they're training. They're training for a fight. All those things they do, those are part of their Rocky training montage. They spend their whole lives training for the big fight, when everything's on the line and they can't afford to lose. They gotta be fast, they gotta be fierce, and they gotta be fearless. Because the day that big fight comes, it might be a matter of life and death. Cats know they have to do whatever it takes to be a champion, and they won't let anything stop them. Stop! And then when the day of that big fight finally comes, when a cat is suddenly thrust into a deadly fight for its life, and it's outsized or outnumbered, it's ready to go. So that's why cats do all those weird things. They're training for a fight, and they don't know when it's coming or even if it's coming, but they prepare for it anyway. Because if that big fight ever does actually happen, all that training will pay off and they'll get to live another day. Cats are kind of like doomsday preppers. They live in a state of constant anxiety to prepare for when shit gets real. That's why they're so jumpy all the time and freak out over the littlest things. We're about 50. Whoops. Keeps their survival instincts sharp. You're not gonna react? Oh, oh. <laughs> And you know, it can be exhausting living like that, reacting to every little thing like it's the scariest thing to ever happen. Which is probably why cats like to hide so much. The stress of daily life gets to be too much to handle sometimes, even in a perfectly calm home, and they just have to retreat from the world. You might think all this stuff cats do is weird, but hey, maybe they think you're weird. They're like, um, why are you not hiding behind a toilet? I love this video because you see the full spectrum of how cats react to a perceived threat. Obviously, most of the cats take the strategy of desperately trying to escape the area, but then you've got the cat who hides, the cats who stand frozen trying to assess the threat, and the cats who just start fighting for no reason. Now, cats kick an ass to defend themselves, that's all well and good, but if you ask me, the badassery is at its highest when a cat comes to the defense of another. That's when the badass levels are off the charts. When they see a person or an animal in trouble and they rush in to help, that's when they go from fighters to heroes. And if we're talking about cats protecting others, we gotta talk about maybe the greatest example of all time. The cat that saved a young boy from a vicious dog attack. And fair warning to the fellas out there, if you're in public right now, you might get hard watching this. If you haven't seen the video, a young child is in his front yard riding his tricycle when a neighbor's dog shows up and smells fresh kid meat. And in a move that shocked good boys and good girls everywhere, the dog runs up to the kid, bites his leg, and starts violently thrashing it around. And then the family cat runs in and throws itself at the dog, knocking it off the 
kid, and then chases after the dog to make sure it skedaddles, and then returns to check on the boy and make sure he's okay. I mean, who knows if that's what the cat was actually doing, but it makes for a better story. Yeah, just roll with it. To have her fly at the dog to protect him, I've never seen anything like that. The boy was okay, he needed stitches on his leg, but ultimately he was fine. Also, I always wondered why after the attack, the mom runs up to check on her son for two seconds and then just runs away. Where is she going? Like, your son just got viciously attacked by a dog, shouldn't you like pick him up and carry him inside or something? I don't know. I mean, I guess the kid wasn't too badly injured because after the mom runs away, he gets up and runs after her. What if what's happening is that all three of them, the mom, the kid, and the cat are all running over to the dog to beat the shit out of it. The mom is like, so then we all ran over to the dog and just tore him a new asshole as a family. And that wasn't the last time a cat protected a child from a dog. In a much less treacherous, though still very badass incident, a girl was riding her bike and getting followed by a dog that she seemed to think was posing a threat. And once again, one of our fine feline friends runs in and lays the dog out. And it's interesting that the cat attacked the dog here because the dog hadn't actually attacked the girl, but the cat was still able to sense that the girl was afraid of the dog and it intervened. That's what's cool about them, dude. Some cats will just leap into action and help you the second they sense that you're in peril. It might not even know you. It's just a passionate keeper of the peace. Now don't go turning this into a whole cats versus dogs thing. Cats aren't about all that. Cats don't hate dogs. In fact, cats will protect dogs, even in a truly life or death situation. Like this cat who ran to the aid of its dog pal to scare off not one, but two coyotes. Lane Dyer says he led the six year old Havanese out to go to the bathroom. While the dog is right in the middle of doing its business, two coyotes appear out of the darkness and try to kill the dog right when it's at its most vulnerable. But then the cat runs in like a poop bodyguard, assesses the situation for ass kicking potential, and then approaches the coyotes and scares them off back into the night. And that's a real dirtbag move, attacking an animal while it's pooping. There should be some kind of code of honor between predators and prey that you don't attack when someone is mid-poop. By the way, I like the way this newscaster says, go to the bathroom. He led the six-year-old Havanese out to go to the bathroom. He led the six-year-old Havanese out to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm telling you, dude, cats will defend dogs, and they don't care who the attacker is. They don't care if it's a coyote or another cat or another dog. You know, a lot of people say that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, but cats say, not while I'm around, bitch! Cats don't have a problem with dogs, as long as they're being cool. It's when a dog starts acting like a bloody wanker. <laughs> That's when cats get upset. Aww. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how the odds might be stacked against them. If a cat decides someone needs help, they leap into action. They'll step into help even when they're missing a leg. And you know what's even badassier than protecting someone? Doing it when you're way outnumbered. Dude, a cat will go straight up Jackie Chan on a bunch of hooligans. Look at this cat coming to the defense of a small kitten. It just runs right into the middle of the pack, no regard for its own safety. I live for this. This cat is like, oh, you think it's four versus one? Nah, it's four lives versus nine lives. A cat match for the fuck. Let's go. Come on. Who wants? Who wants? Come on. Fuck you. Dude, I'm so pumped up. I got to hit something. These kinds of fights are so great because the cat is a total underdog, which is ironic because it's a cat, not a dog, and the attackers are dogs. I think cats have a sixth sense for knowing when there's a fight going on somewhere. You know how cats randomly disappear for long periods of time? I think they do that because they sense that there's an altercation happening somewhere and they have to go join it. They've been drafted into cat war, so they leave for a few hours or a few days or a few years, and then they casually show back up at their owner's house and they're just like, food, please. Now there's some things I've noticed about cat attacks from watching all these videos. First is that cats use everything they've got, which is in stark contrast to animals like dogs who pretty much only use their mouths to attack. That's their main weapon. Cats will attack you with their mouths and all four limbs, and they use their entire body to do it. It's like they transform into a being of blades and spikes, and then they launch themselves at you like a cannonball. It's like they don't even think they're gonna come back from it. All they care about is taking you out in this kamikaze attack, and they'll do it at the drop of a hat. A cat can literally be chill in one second, and then the next second it's like, and that ties into my next observation, which is that there seem to be two primary methods of attack that cats use. First is the SWAT, where they take a swipe at you while maintaining a safe distance. And then there's the approach I was just talking about that I like to call the catapult, where they launch their entire existence at you. And I gotta say, I appreciate the commitment it takes to throw your entire body at a threat. Because once you initiate the attack, there's no turning back. This isn't the kind of attack where you can just change your mind in the middle of it and be like, ooh, maybe this was a bad idea. I've also noticed that when cats attack an aggressor, it's usually a two-parter. They attack once to get you to stop, and then they attack a second time to make sure you got the message. First attack, 
Second attack. Scratch one, scratch two. And again, the old one-two scratcheroo. Like the aggressor might be done after the first attack, but the cat isn't. The cat wants to make sure you learn your lesson. In fact, once a cat decides to go on the offensive, if it doesn't get a hit in on you, it'll chase you down. It just can't move on with its life until it releases its pent-up rage on you. <laughs> and that first hit isn't enough. They gotta get their second hit in. Notice too that when cats intervene in a the fight, they seem to be pretty discerning about identifying who started the fight and focusing the attacks on them. They're not just hitting everyone haphazardly. They care about justice. And man, you better be careful before you start a fight when there's a cat around. Because even if you think you could take on a cat, that cat might have backup. And what's interesting is that even though cats will often back each other up in an altercation, I don't know that cats, in a broader sense, are really on the same team. They might team up temporarily in pursuit of the same goal, but they'll turn on each other on a dime. When push comes to shove, I'm not sure they really give much of a crap about each other. It just depends on their mood, whether they feel like working with each other or against each other. Because cats aren't pack animals like dogs are, so there isn't as much solidarity among them. Like, a team of cats would never be able to pull off a bank heist because they'd all start fighting each other two minutes into it. Now as for why cats cats are so eager to join battles that don't involve them. I think what it comes down to is that cats are warriors of chill. Cats love chilling. They're great at it. They live to chill. They'll chill anytime, any place, on anything. And so if you pose a threat to the chill way of life, if you're a disturber of the chill, they'll beat you into submission. They not only defend their own right to chill, but they also believe in chill for all. They demand chill from everyone else, and they'll fight for it. It doesn't even have to be a full-blown fight. Cats will intervene just because things are getting too rowdy. That's the life of a warrior of chill. Sometimes you gotta throw yourself into the middle of a tussle before it escalates into something more serious. So you better watch it when there's a cat around. You gotta check yourself before a cat wrecks yourself. And they can tell when you're thinking about starting something. I'm telling you, cats sit around just waiting for someone to step out of line. Watching everybody's every little move, thinking, Ooh, I hope a motherfucker tries to pull some shit today. Just give me a reason to slice your nose off. And that applies to other cats, too. If you even think about starting a fight, if you even dream about starting a fight, they'll slap that idea right out of you. So I think that's why they do it. Or maybe, and part of me thinks this might be the real truth, maybe cats get into fights just for the pure love of kicking ass. Now some of you animals out there watching this video right now, you might be going, I could take down a cat. You watch, if I'm ever in a fight with a cat, I'll win that fight, no problem. Well, that may be true. Maybe you can take down a cat, but you gotta catch it first. And that's no easy task. Just when you think you might have a cat cornered, it goes, see ya! And did I mention I wouldn't wanna be ya? Too slow, nice try, going low. Woo! And they don't even care if you're trying to help them. They're like, nah, I'm good, bye. Sometimes even when you already do have them, it turns out that's just what they wanted you to think. Cats are the most extreme fight or flight animals. And to be fair, when it comes to fight or flight, both strategies can be effective. Sometimes fight works, sometimes flight works. I don't know how the animals in these situations choose who's going to be the chaser and the chasey. It really seems like it can go either way. You know, cats have developed a bad reputation with some people. A lot of people think they're jerks, and to be honest, that's not totally unfair. They are guilty of occasionally doing some things that seem rather jerky. they can be stupid sometimes. They might have sharp survival instincts, but that doesn't mean they're always intelligent. It's not uncommon for a cat to get into a predicament of its own making. I love that this cat was so stupid that it made it onto the news. You know, we need more news stories about cats just being dumb. Think about how many more viewers the news would get if they ran stories like that. I mean, does the news always have to be about every single crime happening every day? Give us the scoop on the latest stupid thing a cat did. And cats can also be clumsy. When they're not doing flips and catching birds in midair, they're failing miserably at simple tasks. Ha, ha, ha.
But even so, I think cats get an unfair amount of disrespect in this day and age. They're small and easily underestimated. They're often treated like pushovers. They can come across as aloof and uncaring, but I think they deserve some more respect and recognition, not only for their fearlessness in the face of danger, but also their willingness to help those in need, even when it means putting their own safety on the line. So maybe next time you see a cat, give it a high five or a fist bump, or if you want, you can tell them that they're cool. But uh, <laughs> I think they already know. And one more thing, if you like this video, check out this one I made about deformed dog breeds. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go to the bathroom.